My name is Peter Tien. I'm a clinical podiatrist and researcher and today we are going to demonstrate a toe brachial index. So the equipment that you will need to complete a toe pressure is a Doppler unit with a PPG probe attached and then we also need um, a sphygmometer with a toe pressure cuff. So toe pressures um, can be somewhat fiddly and you need to make sure that your room temperature is controlled. Um, ideally about 23 degrees Celsius. Your patient needs to be rested for 10 minutes in a supine position prior to taking the measurement. And ideally they have not had any coffee, um, smoked cigarettes or um, participated in any vigorous exercise in the hour leading up to the measurement. So I'll start by putting my gloves on. So the PPG probe will have a glass side or a glass face. We want that side to be in contact with the skin. So that should be placed on the distal pulp of the hallux so that no light can get in. So if I was to place it up here, that would not be ideal because light can enter. So it needs to be nice and flush. We use a piece of micropore or other tape just to tape it in place, like so. So it should be fairly well sturdy and taped. Place my toe cuff. So the toe cuff just sits down on the base. Needs to be fairly firmly placed and proximal to where the PPG probe will sit. So once we're happy with our PPG signal, so you can see that we've got a nice big wave waveform, which is great. We'll inflate the toe cuff until that signal becomes a flat line. And about 20 millimeters more. And then we will just slowly release at about one millimeter of mercury per second, ideally. And we're just watching for that first initial upstroke. There it is. So it's 132. So now we need to take our brachial pressure. So we use the brachial cuff and we place it around the arm. So I'll just get you to pop your arm out. We line up our artery line with the brachial artery and leaving enough space there for your um, Doppler probe to go in. One thirty for that one. Lovely. So once we have our brachial pressure, um, we'll get our toe pressure and divide that into the brachial pressure. And that will give us the toe brachial index. The toe brachial index should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7. Once it falls below 0 0.7, we would consider that to be indicative of PAD. So a toe pressure and a toe brachial, brachial index should take less than six minutes in total um, to measure. So keep practicing and thanks so much for your time.